Hello and welcome back to Combat Mission Rome to Victory, the Riva Ridge scenario. So, the Germans are attacking us along this flank here. There's a base of fire here, which is under heavy machine gun fire, luckily. They are moving some snipers down here. Probably to, I don't know, attack me here, I don't know. Oh, that's weird, but this is the sector that we're worrying about. Uh, and later we will also have to check out if there's anything surviving over here. But yeah, that's about it. Let's um, just start, I would say, over here. I uh, shifted these guys over here because they are getting annoyingly close. Uh, these, uh, these are out of Thompson ammo, that also doesn't help. Okay, but we have pinned down these guys, I think. We just need to get a kill, come on. Me to beat them back here. Oh, that was a hit, I think, yeah. The Germans are still ranging in artillery. I still have Thompson I am no here. Come on, that guy has yeah, okay. Nice. Come on, get that last guy. We got the machine gun already, that's good. Still need to recover that BAR. Shooting at these snipers coming down the hill, and I think uh, we're suppressing them, but I don't think we're causing a lot of casualties so far at this range. Come on, get that last asshole. I mean, there's probably more to be honest, but that is the furthest uh, they have come. Well, they're not hitting that all that well for being veterans, but okay. Got him. Over here, I'm trying to recover the BAR. Okay, yeah, there's more. A lot more. Come on, mom now. Okay, I got one. Nice. Okay, I'm doing a kind of weird maneuver here. I hope it will work out. Because there's quite a lot of Germans there after all. Okay, come on. Ah, crap. Yeah, well, we did get these two. But yeah, let's um, hold position here. Over here, we're still pinning these guys down. And he's still shooting back. They seem to be running in this sector, though. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, so we're not retrieving the BAR. Okay, we got one kill there. a bad rifle net. Need to get that asshole sooner or later. No, they can't see him. But if I expose them here, I think there's more guys here. Okay, we're in post mode. I keep getting weird, like, sound contacts over here. So I think there might still be some Germans. So last round, uh, sorry I forgot to tell you this, but last round I kept throwing some nades over. And now I'm gonna crest the hill just to see if there's anything there. So, here goes nothing. This is on the other flank, obviously. I fucking knew it! They were there the whole time! That's the whole squad! With submachine guns and everything. Oh shit, and there's more. What that guy do? Okay. I think they were there. Jesus Christ. They were there the whole time and didn't move at all, but I kept getting these little sound contacts. Alright. Well, cleared them. Let's go over to the actually uh, threatened flank here. Oh, we got that dude. That's good. The rest seems fine here. Okay. I, I hope there's some quiet here now until the Germans make the next move. Okay, it's the Germans time to move now. Yeah, this seems risky. Yeah, okay. I think I might have to pull them back, otherwise they will keep trying to uh, pick up the dead guys there and expose themselves to the Germans that are still here. I want the Germans to move first, obviously. So I'm gonna crawl these guys back next time. These are also still in ambush, so if they crest the hill or the, the ridge here... But yeah, let's... The Germans need to move first. They don't have Tommy gun ammo anymore, though. That's kind of a problem. Over here we're still in, in combat with those snipers, but so far I don't think they've caused any casualties, like they're firing. Yeah, see? We have a sniper with a G43 here. Okay, this guy we can apparently safely buddy aid. No, oh, maybe not. Shit. Oh, they're on the move again. Oh, that's not good. Come on, throw a nade or something. Oh yes, rifle nade. Never mind. Oh, yep. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, they are apparently trying to attack along this axis. So we need to get heavy machine guns turned around. Yep, they want to move. Okay, this is grenade time. Or, you know, hitting the people time. Yep, no, yep. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. That's not good. That, that's not bad, I mean. And they're turning around. That's a good sign, I guess. Oh shit, how many are there? I didn't know they still have that many people. Ah, oh, shit, no, they're gonna throw grenades back. No, not only that. Crap. Oh, yep. Damn it. Okay, they're still on the move. 
I mean, we did cause a casualty there, but... Hmm, now what do I do against these now? Need to shift more forces here, I think. Okay, here they come. They're just advancing along the ridge. Yep, do that. That's a good plan. Throw nades at them. Also, come on, just fucking hit them. Jesus Christ. If you guys were playing FH2, you'd be like, you have head, would have like a 0.2 KD or something. So the problem is for them, even if assholes won't turn around their gun, even though I told them to several times, so that's good. But the other one is really deploying here. So my hopes are that these guys are getting their M1917 up here real quick. Yep, like that. A bit quicker, maybe. Yeah, you think you're fancy with your automatic weapon, so. Them uh, deploying that machine gun quickly was so clutch. Nothing better to shut down an infantry push than a water cooled machine gun. Just ask people in World War One. I. I think we're getting sniped there though, because they are obviously exposing themselves. Yeah, there's a sniper shooting from there at my machine gun. But okay. At least we kind of impeded their forward movement here. And now they're kind of. Um, oh, new plan, huh? <laughs> now they're kind of not encircled, but have people behind them at least. Now they're getting shot at from several different directions. Okay, was worried there for a second because they had nice like um, close combat weapons and a lot of um, forward momentum, but that one machine gun basically shut the whole thing down. Yeah, now they're lying in crossfire there. To suppress, to even shoot back and get them down. Nice, I think that wiped them. So the question is, do I run down the clock on this, or do I just say, okay, it's done now? Because I don't think they have any like infantry left. We're still in firefight with these sniping groups, but I don't think they will rush them up. And even if they tried, it would probably not do much. So I might just do the ceasefire at this point. And here we go. It's rated as a tactical victory. We had uh, 57 men killed, uh, 50 men wounded, really heavy casualties. They had 89 men killed, 42 men wounded. We secured the ridgeline position and threw them back off. Um, we failed to inflict enough casualties. Well, the heavy weapons were kind of out of my range, um, but we destroyed most of the infantry. Um, enemy casualties and friendly conditions uh, we did, but not friendly casualties. Yeah, we had way too many there, and here it's basically the opposite. Okay. So, oh, they still have people here, but outside of the flag zone, and seems to be one of those um, Volksgrenadier support squads. Ah, yeah, there was the rest of these guys, and they never attempted anything after that, but they still had two machine guns there and a sniper rifle. These snipers... Oh, these actually caused the casualty, interesting. These didn't, though. And over here, yeah, there's still these guys left, nervous, broken. All right, and that's the company, uh, yeah, Platoon HQ. So, and that's their machine guns. We knocked this one out, which is nice. This one was also completely destroyed. This one, however, still seems up, yeah, even though they did take some casualties. 
and this is basically intact. That's probably a company HQ that spotted. Observer team. 12 casualties? That must be from the um, artillery, right? I mean, surely they didn't snipe me from there with the K98K two times, uh, 12 times. Okay, company HQ that got probably hit by artillery here. That's their mortar battery. Nine casualties, three, five. Yeah, the artillery was really annoying in this. As is often the case in the in the Fortress Italy game. So let's look at my own guys. One. One, uh, these guys uh, over here wiped out that squad across here. Yeah, 10 em enemy casualties, and they're still relatively intact, so they really, four here, so they really um, paid themselves off here. I think this guy helped too, yeah, three. Other than that, the heavy machine guns. Now that's gonna be interesting. Two? Uh, it's not that good for a heavy machine gun. I mean, come on. None. Okay, that's really embarrassing. But let's see. Three for the medium one. Um, does he have four casualties? Yeah, so that must be from calling in the artillery. Although I'm pretty sure I cost more than that. That being said, I did misuse the artillery. I shouldn't have done the cute thing here and uh, bombarded this. Like, obviously, if you're going to make a scenario like that, you're not going to make it easy to, to just catch the whole AI force with artillery. So I should have um, waited until I saw that and dumped all the artillery on this support line, which would have, for one thing, of course, taken out the machine guns before they could give fire support, but also I would have gotten a lot more points for knocking them out, including the uh, spotters and the um, company HQ and stuff like that. So yeah, that was kind of wrong. I shouldn't have used it like that. Just uh, tried to do it the easy way there. These guys, 24. Yeah, this is W. Uh, uh, not W. This is the VIP of the whole battle. Because we redeployed them here in the nick of time and they mowed down this whole squad here. Well, not that one, but the one here, which is completely wiped out. These guys, although they were veteran and they got 10 casualties as they raced across here, but yeah, the machine gun put an end to that. Four, eight, also not bad, but yeah, these nine, these all took heavy casualties in the fighting here. So yeah, in the end though, we won. Mortars, none. Okay, that's embarrassing. Yeah, I really misused the artillery. The Germans were a bit cleverer with that. Probably the uh, battery knocked out a whole lot of Germans in this trench. Because these were largely, I think, not largely, but many of them were caused by the by the artillery. So yeah, that was the River Ridge scenario. I think it was quite a nice scenario. And certainly fairly unique compared to what we've played uh, on the channel uh, in terms of combat mission so far. The terrain here is very extreme. Almost, I mean, it's not like high mountains, but uh, yeah, it's, it's mountainous terrain. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Don't see that every day. And fighting along this whole ridge. So yeah, nice stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Let's have a last look at the ridge up there. Yep, there we go.